Here we have the outside of the Sterling Eccles Sport 442. If we firstly come to the front gas locker, you will see that we have room in here for two gas bottles. The regulator just sits here and then the hose comes off the regulator, screws into the propane bottle and is tightened with a gas spanner. Bottle on and off on the top here. Do make sure that the bottle is isolated for travel. We also have the corner steady winding handle in here. As we come round, we have the front wind point for the corner steady. And above we have the flue for the Truma boiler. We do not need to do anything with these particular flues. There's no covers or anything that need to come off. Just make sure that nothing is obstructing it. Next we have water into the van. So to remove the submersible, just pull on the blue trigger just here, give it a bit of a wiggle and the submersible will come out. When plugging back in, do make sure that it's clipped in properly or otherwise as soon as you turn the water pump on and this goes under pressure it will just pop back out. Leisure battery just here. Main hookup point just here and the external TV satellite point. We then have the power touch evolution motor mover. The vents for the Dometic fridge. Again similar to the boiler, just make sure that nothing is obstructing them and especially with these do not spray a lot of water at them when washing the caravan. We then have the grey water drain points. So just add your Y shape adapter if you've got one or just two bits of convoluted pipe and then drop it into your waste master. Above we have the header tank fill point for the fit for toilet so in here you can add your pink solution if you wish and then top the rest up with water never travel with this completely full or as it will just slosh about everywhere and make a mess inside the caravan so if this does need to be drained down for travel or just winterization we just need to come to where the cassette is located and if we then just look up you'll see this little black hose just here if we then pull the bung out the end we can drain the header tank down the cassette removes just by lifting up on the handle and then just pulling out firstly remove the cap and add your toilet chemical with a small amount of water when emptying empties from the same place just remember that when you pour it away to hold the button in here just to release the vacuum inside it's also advisable to keep this seal lubricated Fetford do their own seal lubricant but any silicon based lubricant is fine this is also a nice quick handy way of giving the cassette a good clean if additional cleaning needs doing you will find just where my finger is here there's a little arrow pointing to a little O you need to rotate this whole section up to this O just here and then we can remove this is also handy if any debris gets wrapped around the float mechanism inside these are all now on wheels with extendable handles As we now come round to the rear of the caravan, we can see the wind points for the rear corner steadies. And then as we come round the other side, we have the location of the spare wheel. 
we then have the weight plate just here on here it also gives you the tyre sizes, the tyre pressures and the wheel nut torque settings 